Hello and welcome to the Siesta Show. Well, today we're visiting a very nice new urbanisation. It's been completed very recently, but it seems that some of the owners have been complaining. And what could they possibly be complaining about? Looks okay to me. What do you think, Colin? Well, Colin's showing you some of the situation here. He's been looking at the road and he's not been very approving of, of what's been going on here. So we've been having a chat with some of the local owners and the local residents here. Um, and I've got Dennis here. Hi, Dennis. Hi, Justin. Um, so, Dennis, how long ago was it you completed in your apartment? Uh, it was just over a year ago, a year and four days. And was this like this a year ago? Uh, it was worse than this a year ago. The, the work's completed as it is now in October last year and uh, they the completed that bit uh, in front of RNL 2000 right. but since October nothing's moved up here You're in an urbanisation that's at the top of this hill here that, that we can see I don't know if Colin can show it or not but there's a, a hill that goes up there and obviously they've obviously been working on this bit of road here but it um, looks like nothing's gone on for a while how long have they been stopped? Um, how long have they stopped working on this road? I would say it was last October when they stopped. It was last October. Yes. And as far as we're aware, the because obviously there's various developers that are involved here, isn't it? It's not just one developer. It's two developers. There's RNL 2000 and Cotto Real, which was Ross Y. Falcon. And have they actually paid for the works to be done on this road? Yeah. As far as I'm aware, RNL 2000 have paid a million euros and Ross Y. Falcon have paid two million euros for the, for the work on the road to be done. Right, and that was the town hall's responsibility, was it? Yes, it was the town hall, and we believe the town hall spent the money on other, other developments that they've been wor working on. Right. Okay. Well, we'll try and talk to the town hall later on and see what they've got to say. Um, one of the things we were looking at as well is that obviously this road is an issue because up there, where there's, we'll, we'll show you in a minute, is um, there's a, there was like a walkway, but which seems to have sort of vanished now, hasn't it? Yes, the walkway is all fallen over to the side towards the side of RNL 2000. So we now have to walk on the road, and the road's in a really bad bad way as well. Right. So we'll have a little wander up and see some of the issues that are affecting this road and so that's affecting some of these owners. So, because um, it's actually quite a nice urbanisation up there. So it it's, is, it's, it's really it's nice. It's a shame yes. what's happened, it's really. Um, and it looks like, unless some action is taken, it, it may take a long time for this road to be finished. So um, we'll have a little walk up and see what we can see and we'll show you some of the issues here. I'm here with Helga. We're having a look at the the state of the <coughs> the pavement. As you can see, this lady's walking with her child down the road at the moment. I assume this bit on the side here is the is what's supposed to be the pavement, is it, Helga? It used to be like a, a walking road with thick gravel, not very uh, much better than it is now. But now it's it's disappearing. It's just falling off. So now we have to walk in the middle of the road. I mean, it's quite a drop there as well, isn't it? So it's, a, it's, a it's quite, quite a drop. risky walk anyway. Yes, it is. And if it's been raining, the road is slippery because uh, on the other side here we have a lot of dirt and it all comes onto this road over here. Right. And so we're walking in up to our calves and, and dirt in the morning after the rain. And so we don't want to really be close to this part here. We're in the middle of the road. Right. And you're walking down here with your kids, are you? Yes. Yeah, that's really the problem, isn't it, as well? Because mm. there's obviously there's obviously nowhere to walk. You've got to walk on the road. This poor excuse for a for a pavement um, is actually very dangerous, and half of it has vanished. So it doesn't get any better, does it? Yeah. 
Well, you've seen the state of the road. We've spoken to some of the residents here and um, you can see that, you know, the situation is quite bad. People are walking down the road with their kids. There's no pavement or anything. The road's in a really bad state. It looks like it's, it's been stopped for quite a long time. Is it going to get finished? Who knows? Um, you can see at the top where you saw earlier that, you know, the actual road within the urbanization, it's lovely urbanization up there as well. Uh, it's very, it's finished. It's very good. Uh, it's just a shame the rest of it's not. Um, have you got similar problems where you are? Let us know. It'd be interesting to know. Um, anyway, and have a good weekend and we'll see you on Monday. Bye.